can't. I'm saying that it's not for your justification. You should do it to stay out of trouble. Okay. But it's not to be justified. Okay. I'm justified from all things from which I could not be justified by the law of Moses. So, so I. I so after me, this this is the question that I have. I grew up in the church, right? And you mentioned the Trinity, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're, they're one. So uh, you also mentioned that Christ is one with God, right? He said, I am one. One, right? So I and the Father are one. Okay, so when you read John 17, ask me this question for me, and maybe I have some understanding. When you read John 17, right? And when you mentioned the, the disciples, right? Being one with him and God. What the is disciples it? Disciples being one with him and God. Yeah. Well, that's, that's like being in the church, and it's like it's like being uh, brothers, and it's like we're all we're going to heaven, and we're going to exist in heaven, and we're going to be when we see Jesus, we'll be as He is. So, so now, so all of us will be a part of the Trinity, then. We're not going to be part of the Trinity because 1 Corinthians 13, 15 says that then he'll be assumed back into the Godhead and he won't, he won't any longer be an image. Right now he's the image of the invisible God because God you can't see. So let, let me read this. Wait a minute. You I give want, me understanding on this. I, I want you to look at this first. So this is justification. Hold on. Like, I just want you to answer this so I can have some clarity. Okay. So look. It says right here. Uh, what verse? What are you reading? I'm reading John 17. John 17. And I'm going to start at verse 21. Okay. You are using KJV? Yeah. Okay, I'm, re I'm reading KJV. So it said that they all may be one. I'm yeah. going to read up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read up for context sake. Uh, we're going to start at verse 17. Really, you have to read the whole chapter, but we know that he's talking about a disciple, right? Okay, so when we read from verse 19, it said, And for their sake, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe me through their word, right? Alright, so these are the people that believe on Christ, right? So it said that they all may be one. It said, as thou Father art in me. So if it said they all may be one as the Father is one in Christ. So if, if Jesus is one with Christ and all of the believers are one with them, how could there be a trinity? Yeah, but we're never going to be God. We're not going to be 
I'm never gonna be where where I created um, where I created the universe. Or created okay. Okay. So let me ask, ask you this. So if we can't be one and and be God, right? By us being one with God, we can't be God. How can Christ be God if He has a God? Look at First Corinthians fifteen. It said.